So my daughter is two now and she has retained so much length in two years and I want to share everything I've been doing to help her grow out her hair and most importantly retain all of that growth. So if you're a mom and you are struggling to grow out your little one's hair and retain length this is definitely the video for you. Hey MC fan, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so let's get straight into it. So the first thing that's helped my daughter to retain length is what we put inside. Now, I know there's a lot of emphasis on what we put on the outside, so hair products, etc. But it's also important what we put inside our bodies. So I make sure that my daughter has a well-balanced diet. Yes, my daughter is good. <laughs> She loves her fruit, her veg, her protein, you name it, she loves it. She also loves drinking water, guys. Now, another important thing is her multivitamins. Now, I make sure that she takes her multivitamins and this includes the recommended dose of vitamin D and iron. As a lot of you may know, the deficiency of, for example, vitamin D and iron has been said to lead to hair loss you know breakage etc and believe it or not i've worked with so many clients um who have children who are deficient in particularly vitamin d and iron and because of this they struggle to you know retain length so this is another important thing that's helped um my daughter to retain length and that's not being deficient in certain vitamins so the other thing that has helped my daughter with her length retention is actually being observant and paying attention to her hair needs. So whenever her hair goes through changes or different phases, I'm able to incorporate certain things into her regime to help meet those hair needs. So for example, if you remember from previous videos, I spoke about my daughter experiencing this dryness phase at the back section of her hair, which happened around the age of four months. And this section was extremely dry, felt like synthetic hair, looked quite dull, etc. So because of this, I incorporated, for example, a midweek conditioner only wash to help with the softness, the condition of her hair also introduced um, conditioning after shampooing because prior to that I was just using a shampoo without a conditioner so I introduced a conditioner after shampooing again to help with the softness smoothness and just the manageability of her hair another example is when my daughter started experiencing new growth around the perimeter of her head and this is often mistaken as breakage but it's actually new growth and my daughter's new growth started around the age of 11 months now noticing this of course this is the exact same thing that happened with my other children so I knew that at this stage or this phase I would have to keep things super simple especially when it came to you know styling you know tension-free hairstyles particularly around the perimeter of her head so she doesn't experience any breakage you know when moisturizing and conditioning paying extra attention to those areas so those areas aren't dry and won't break off and as you can see from the pictures this is the reason why she's been able to also retain length around these particularly sensitive areas of her head Another thing is paying attention to when my daughter's hair needs to be moisturized. So previously, I would moisturize my daughter's hair twice a week. Now, I only moisturize her hair once a week, and that's because that's what her hair needs currently. Because I'm doing this, I'm able to, you know, save her hair from being dry, brittle, and breaking off. And of course, if it's dry, brittle, and breaking off, she wouldn't be able to retain any length. Final example of paying attention to my daughter's hair needs is recently I've introduced deep conditioning after shampooing. Prior to that, I used to use a rinse out conditioner after shampooing. But what I realized was that the rinse out conditioner was no longer giving her hair what it needed or that lasting conditioning effect like the deep conditioner has been doing recently so the deep conditioner has been keeping her hair you know smooth soft and manageable way longer than the rinse out conditioner was doing and because of this of course her hair is able to retain length 
Now talking about products, this is another thing that has helped my daughter with her length retention. Now not growth, we all know that products don't grow hair, but it does help with the maintenance of the hair and length retention. Now I used to be a product junkie back in the days, but I'm not a product junkie anymore. For me right now, when it comes to, you know, my daughter's hair, my children's hair, is finding the right types of products. So the products that are actually going to, you know, perform. So finding, you know, the right types of cleansers that is going to cleanse my daughter's scalp and keep her scalp healthy and clean finding you know conditioners that are going to provide that slip to help with you know detangling and comability finding the right types of you know moisturizers for you know doing the LCO method with moisturizing the hair to keep her hair you know conditioned smooth and manageable soft all of that good stuff is super super important so I like to keep things super simple so I'm not into you know using different products rice water and all of that stuff I keep it simple but effective okay so just because i know someone's probably thinking this you're thinking that my daughter's hair is long because of genetics i want to address this so when it comes to genetics it has nothing to do with length retention but everything to do with the color of my daughter's hair the curl pattern her density her individual strand thickness even down to how fast the hair grows to give you an example of growth rate with my children so as you can see this is a picture of my children all at two years old and from the picture you can see that my youngest daughter she has a slightly faster growth rate then followed by my son and then my firstborn who has a slightly slower growth rate so even within my children they have different growth rate now when it comes to the growth rate if your hair grows fast but you're not able to retain length because it's breaking off just as fast then it's pointless it doesn't even matter if you have fast growing hair what matters is that you're able to retain length the next thing is having an effective regime in place an effective regime that meets her current hair needs so her regime tells me what i'm going to do when i'm going to do it how often i'm going to do it this helps me to stay consistent her regime is written it is visible when i need to see it and i'm more likely to follow it because i have a plan in place and you know how that saying goes right if you fail to plan you plan to fail so having a regime for my daughter's hair is super important hey mamas don't forget to sign up for my free masterclass that's taking place on the 27th of january at 7 p.m gmt via zoom listen if you are serious about your little one's hair journey this year and you're looking to grow it out so they can retain length this is the masterclass you need to be on just click the link below this video and sign up Another thing that has helped with my daughter's length retention is keeping up with her weekly wash regime. Now we all know that when it comes to you know washing your little one's hair regularly, it keeps their scalp healthy. The scalp is the foundation of healthy hair growth. It's also an opportunity for you to give your little one's hair all the TLC it needs, the moisture, the conditioning, and all of that good stuff. If you're able to do this on a consistent basis, of course your little one is going to retain a length detangling you know detangling on wash day and wash day only using the right techniques and tools so firstly you know finger detangling first and then using a detangling brush to further detangle and of course using a conditioner that provides a lot of slip that's going to help with comability less breakage all of that is going to help with length retention and has helped my daughter to retain a lot of length too my daughter lives in chunky plaits and this is another reason why she's been able to retain length because I keep her style super simple you know sometimes I may do like bantu knots for example if we're going out I may do like puffs I may do a twist out or braid out but majority of the time her hair is in plaits as I mentioned, I keep her style super, super simple, less manipulation, tension-free styles. And this is what's been helping to minimize breakage and of course, retain length. 
Keep my daughter's hair protected at night is another way that has helped with her length retention and I've been doing this since she was a newborn. So when she was a newborn I would use satin fitted sheets and then when she was one I transitioned to satin bonnet and this really helped to minimise friction from you know laying on those cotton sheets that can cause balding and breakage and also it also helps with moisture retention so like I said is another great way that has helped my daughter to you know retain length and retain that moisture so I know someone is going to ask about trimming and I haven't yet started trimming my daughter's hair however when her hair needs to be trimmed which I can feel is going to be soon um, I will trim her hair and this is going to help to you know keep up with the health of her hair and her ends in particular which will result into length retention so this is something I'm going to add to her regime soon.